Hi everyone, this is Michael again. In this video I would like to talk about a concept of the getting things done methodology called the next action list. I'm going to show you how you can implement your own next action list by using the software OmniFocus, which happens to be my task manager of choice. So for the ones that are not familiar with GTD, what is GTD actually? GTD stands for getting things done and is a framework for managing your whole life. To do so, GTD uses various types of lists extensively. Simply put, your life consists of projects you have to deal with, be it getting insurance, saving money, creating a workout plan, which would be your personal projects, or preparing for a business meeting, taking a business trip, or writing a standard operating procedure, which would be examples for professional projects. The idea of lists actually is very simple, but GTD describes a whole process that allows for creating, managing and maintaining these lists. However, the process itself is not topic of this video, but on YouTube you can find a lot of videos about this topic already. What I want to talk about is a specific type of list, the next action list. So let us consider the following example. You start out with a project in mind. This project then becomes a list that contains several action items that are required to complete your project. From this list you identify one action to become your next action. This action is logically the next to do on your list that has to be done in order to advance the project. Now when considering multiple projects, which translate to multiple lists, you are going to have a next action on each of those lists. These projects can of course be independent from each other. Their only commonality is a to-do item that has been identified as the next action. After each project has one next action item, it's very helpful to have a list that lists only those items. So instead of having multiple lists, one for each project, you have one list that consolidates all next action items into one list. This list is called the next action list. So now let's start implementing a next action list with OmniFocus. The very first thing is that I have to add an action, which then will be part of a project. I start by naming the project and I'm going to call it Create OmniFocus Next Action Video. For the purpose of this video, I have prefixed the project with demo. My first action is going to be Record Video, and by that I mean doing a dry run, which allows me to basically put all the pieces together and see whether my idea works out properly. I will also write a rough script just to outline the points I want to cover. Eventually there will be the time where I will edit the video and put all the pieces together. And eventually I will do the voiceover. In OmniFocus I now have to associate all the items to the project I created initially. I'm going to clean up the items by pressing the appropriate button which can also be done by pressing Command K. So now on to my second project, which I call Plan Trip to Mumbai, which I am actually taking in November. So one of the to-dos will be make an appointment with a travel agency, which is going to organize the whole trip. I'm also going to research the places that I want to visit as well as lay out all the trip details for myself. This includes the start and end date, the places I want to visit and maybe some events to undertake. And for sure I'm going to discuss the details with my girlfriend which is also coming with me. And again assigning the items to the actual project. So on to the last project of this demo. I would like to start tracking my expenses and create some financial overview.
for this I would like to create some Excel sheet which would give me the flexibility to easily get an overview of everything that is going on. I also need to research an app which allows me to easily capture my expenses when I'm on the go. Also, I would like to look into ways to automate this whole process, like for instance automatically categorize all my expenses and then having them added to Excel automatically. Again, assigning all to-do items into the corresponding project and clean the inbox. So now for the implementation part. When we go to the projects tab, we are seeing the projects created as well as the items associated to them. Now we are going to choose the next action item on each of those projects. So in the project create my OmniFocus next action video, I will probably start writing a rough script and in order to mark it as my next action I'm going to write out dash next action behind the item. In my project plan trip to Mumbai I will probably start out researching the places that I want to visit. For the track finances project I will probably start creating an excel sheet in order to collect all areas of my life which require the tracking. And now for the main idea. We are going to open the Perspectives menu, either by choosing Show Perspectives in the Perspectives menu, or by clicking Command Option P. Then we are going to add a perspective by clicking the plus sign. We call this perspective the Next Action List, and I'm going to suffix it with demo just for me to distinguish between my other perspectives. As you can see I'm using multiple next action lists for myself, one for work and one for private stuff. Now let's take a look at the perspectives options. Since I already clicked on the demo folder before opening the perspectives, OmniFocus already added the demo folder to the focus option. By having this option, activating the perspective, we will only focus on the demo folder and omit all other folders in our OmniFocus. This is why I have different perspective for each area of my life. In essence, I have one perspective for my work, which only focuses on my work folder, as well as a different perspective that focuses only on my private folder. Since I added all the projects to the demo folder, I'm going to set the focus option to the demo folder itself. OmniFocus will then immediately show the content of the demo folder once the perspective is active. I'm also going to use the project hierarchy as soon as the perspective is displayed because I want to see the project where the next action item belongs to. The next piece of this perspective is the most important one. The filtering pane allows me to specify a text that is searched for in the folder I added in the focus pane. This folder was called demo folder and contained all the projects we have set up. Next, the filtering option is the most important. We are going to add the text that we added at the end of each item, which was called dash next action, into the find text text field. Clicking the star adds the perspective to the left bar of OmniFocus. This allows me to easily access the perspective in the future. So now, when clicking on the perspective, I get a filtered perspective on the demo folder, which lists only the next action items. So now I can easily choose which task to continue in order to advance any of those projects.